Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. This train is inbound from level three dormitories to sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond sector C, you will need to return to the central transit hub in area nine and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. The Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure access transmission. Remember, more lives than your own may depend on your fitness. Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian medical division. The Black Mesa Research Facility is an equal opportunity employer. A reminder to all Black Mesa personnel, regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe, work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you 
and have a very safe and productive day. All right, Ron, welcome to. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. More Half Life. I fucking, oh, fucking again. Yes, I've played this like eight times. However, uh, we're playing with the S Van Co-op mod. It's a bit different, and I kind of said to myself, you know, I need to do no classic mode. This is gonna be That's a, a hell of a thing to say. This is gonna be a little bit different from the vanilla version. Um, but the reason I'm kind of going through this again is because we're doing this in co-op. Obviously, Pat is here playing as a uh, Gus, the maintenance man, or something. <laughs> <laughs> Test testing Black Mesa's uh, safety standards, obviously, right there. Yeah, exactly. They don't have invisible walls set up. They should really uh, get on that. Well, you're the maintenance guy. You're supposed to fix that up. Exactly. I'm testing it for OSHA. So Pat has played this. How much you've... I, I think you played, like, the first two hours of this with me. You've never actually yeah, played. I, pl I played it long enough to learn how to kill you, and that kind of kind of was the extent of my knowledge. Apparently two hours is all you need for that. Exactly. Um, so, for Pat, this will be a blind run after about two hours, and he has kind of me to guide him through it. Because uh, I've played this like eight times, and I think I've LP'd this like four times or something. Like, uh, from what I've heard, it was ten. I, it's, some, it's some ridiculous number, and I'm doing it again. Uh, just because it's co-op, and I, and I want to do blue shift, opposing force, uplink, and a whole bunch of other stuff in co-op, I figured. So, um, I figured I might as well start with this again. Uh, cause we're gonna do an entire series on this, this is gonna be ongoing, which should hey, be fun. Mr. Freeman, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. <laughs> so, Gus, the maintenance man, we gotta fix the problems. We gotta fix this shit. <laughs> And Mike has been teaching me how to Wait piss minute, people Freeman. off. I'm expecting an important message. He's expecting an important message, Pat. N no, nobody fucking expects shit. Red alert. Yeah, Pat, you're trying to get them in trouble? It's your fault. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. That's uh, why I'm fucking tagging this place for the crypt, dude. Come on. <laughs> hey, don't go that way yet. We gotta, we gotta explore this way. Oh, we do? Yeah. Dude, I don't know shit. You should realize that by now. Look. It's the H man. What? The human man. Oh, okay. I don't know. That makes that makes more sense. And his calculus. This should shake. Dude, I fucking hated calculus. Exactly. That's when I'm gonna turn the lights off. Fuck him. My God, what are you doing? <laughs> You're testing dude. the lights, Pat. I, I, <laughs> dude, it's got. We gotta fucking test these OSHA standards, dude. <laughs> So I'm playing like, as uh, seriously. I am. I'm. Like, did you know that it's a ten thousand dollar uh, fine to block a uh, sink? So I'm actually Gordon Freeman. That's like this is. Where like, the fuck did you go? I, you went through a wall. Did I? Oh wait, no. Never mind. You're back. Okay. Sorry, sir. I've got to save my phone. Stop, stop tagging everything in Black Mesa, Pat. Is that like your 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 safety spray? That yeah, yeah no, I'm a, I'm a little bit too white to be tagging shit, so I don't know. I should probably stop. <laughs> but you know what? I'll give them this. They have a no smoking area, and that's better than a lot of places. My God, what are you doing? And thus, the tuna casserole incident started. Full on. If that was tuna casserole, they got problems because that shit came out looking like a red dick. Greetings. The disaster, Pat. No, dude. Seriously, it was like bloody fucking red. All right, we got four hazard suits. Pick one. To the and this, this kind of like overlaps. <laughs> exactly. That's the, see, that's, the, that's probably the best part. I, I think we need to uh, to pick them up at the same time to stop it from doing that. And well, I kind I kind of waited a little bit. So you did it on purpose. A little bit. Well, it's <laughs> doing the same checks, Pat. I was doing a safety check. Why I can't hear you over this FEV bullshit. HEV. Hazardous, Whatever. Hazardous environment vehicle. That's what it well, is. Well, I'm thinking of FEV because it's a better game. What? No, this is this is a classic, dude. You don't even know what I'm referencing. No. Absolutely exactly. not. <laughs> exactly. How you played all fucking five games? Oh yes, that's right. You, you still don't know what it is, do you? Fallout. Yeah, there you go. You got it. 
It only took me saying five fucking games. I thought you were referring to something else. I don't know. All right, so but, the changes in SVN Co-op opposed to vanilla. Um, most of the story elements are still intact from what I could see. Like, me and Pat actually tried this out because Pat had never played uh, Half-Life. And so SVN Co-op, by the way, is free and it's on Steam and you actually get to play this campaign uh, without any kind of, like, hitches or anything like that. Without any, like, it's just totally free. And, and Valve kind of just allowed them to have their campaign, which is really nice. Larp it up, Mike. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, so it's 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 almost vanilla, except for obviously you've noticed much less loading screens probably, and like they, it's actually really impressive what they've done. And the weapons are gonna be a little bit different; they're gonna be more fun. Greetings. Ah, Gordon, here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105 percent. Pretty gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some length to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. The test chamber. Test chamber. I'll let the, let the man go. It's actually a really great game to play co-op still, I think. Well, I mean, it's a fucking Valve game. I don't think I've, uh... I mean, I loved Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, that was the shit. So for anyone who doesn't know, this is Eli and, uh, the other guy, Tinker. Tinker. <laughs> Dr. Tinker? You do, I mean, he was, I know, I know, Tinker, I know, was I know, in I know. Tinker was in Black Mesa, what the fuck, come on. It, what? Yes. Yeah! No, you no, never no. heard him, you never no, heard that the, quote? It was like the purple residence something. Same fucking shit, different fucking color. Yeah, okay. I, I know what you're up to. Do I? All right. I mean, do you? Yes, I do. I don't know what I'm on, so you should probably. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Alright, Pat, so you know how to work the uh, Resonance something machine here, right? Of course. Oh, yeah, I learned that in tech school um, that Ocean sent me to. Yet you're hired as the literally Black Mesa's uh, janitor right now. Pretty much. Good job. Oh, thank you. I'm so good. You don't need a hazard suit. You're expensive. I fucking hope I don't blue screen again. Testing. Testing. Hey, don't jump the gun, Gus. Seems to be in order. Hi. This is how we do it in the uh, big city. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can put the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Wow, uh, you already fucked it up, Gus. Nah, that's how we do it. I like, I like how you have automatic medical systems in your maintenance jumper. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I told you, fucking OSHA's on this shit, we know it. I'm pretty sure if you walk into that, you're gonna die. Oh shit! <laughs> 12 HP. I don't have my med kit yet. I think you're just fucked. Nah, I got this. Holy shit. I don't remember this. I think he crashed when he did this. I did? Yeah. Alright, work as quickly as we can, Pat. Alright. Uh, what... Probably. Probably. Hey, that's what Tinker says! Yeah. Dude, like... Like Valve references their own games all the time. 
Oh shit, I didn't know that. <laughs> Alright, Pat. It's really easy. All you have to do is put the crystal in the thing. Don't fuck it up. You can't, Dude, that you can't robot has arms. Well, no, but it's it's no, it's like a scooter thing. Anyways, don't fuck it up. It's really easy. Go ahead. Oh. Oh, what have you done, Pat? Oh, what the no! fuck? You screwed it up. Fucked it. Run. God damn it, Pat. Fucking guarantee you here in five minutes and this shit blows are gonna be 5v5ing five and it's gonna be off. It's like the third time you've caused the apocalypse. Uh, you know, that, make, that actually sounds about right for me, to be honest. God fucking damn it, Pat. God Dude, fucking damn it. Dude, I swear to God, it. I just saw Ricky drop from the ceiling. Wait, I'll bring it out. Oh, shit, it was too late. You saw Ricky drop from the ceiling? I swear to God, that had to have been who it was. I think you're just seeing shit at this point. I don't know. My vision is kind of dark. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm blind now. Oh, well, you look directly to the laser. Oh, shit! It's oh, hey. tentacles. Yeah, they're dumb. They're adorable. Oh, there we go. We're just gonna have a meet board meeting at Black Mesa. Hello, everybody. Our latest uh, profits are going through the sky roof. Or through the roof. Well, we're roof. up 3% this week. Definitely up 3%. So, anyways... The default game would have, like, uh, sorry, default S Fun Co op game would have something called survival mode where apparently we can't die in any of these levels. And I, I looked it up actually, Pat, and it's based upon checkpoints. But we turned it off so we can respawn as many times as we want to deal with it. It's, it we're playing on hard difficulty, uh, difficulty, by the way, so. Wow, Pat, it looked like a tornado went through here. I, okay, you're just a fucking dick, okay? <laughs> Thanks. We're, I still have, we haven't even gotten fucking fixed from that shit and you're already making jokes too soon, dude. Uh, yeah. <laughs> For those who don't know, Pat was uh, uh, in a, near a tornado recently. Yeah, near's not quite the word for that. Uh, 200 meters away. Nar narrowly escaped death. But he lives, so he gets to do this with me. You know, that, that door is not entirely safe, Pat. I think you should fix it. Yeah, right. Oh, shit, don't pay me enough for that shit. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out. <laughs> you need to take everything, Pat. I... Oh. Yeah, they keep getting overwritten here. I don't know. Maybe because they're like dead. It's gotta be the blood's work. It's <laughs> gotta be the blood's work. There's a, there's a long history of gang wars in, in Black Mesa. <laughs> yeah, where do you think the fuck? Oh, shit. Are we going back down? No, no, no. It, it, you don't stand on this edge. When, when, the, when the elevators kind of are on the... Like, like this, they're weird. It's fucking strange. Yeah, just a little bit. Why didn't they listen? Why? Them. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. Gordon, you're alive. Thank God for that hazard suit. I'm afraid to move him and all our phones are out. Please, get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. You'll need me to activate the retinal scanners. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. All right. I predicted all of this, you know. With my brains and your brawn. Yeah, come over here. Dude, and his open voice it for keeps us. changing. Well, and you broke the sign. Five hundred dollar fine. Uh, you're the maintenance guy. You're supposed to fix it. Do your fucking job. Nah, bro. Oh shit. Whoa. Forgot. You need to warn me about this shit because <laughs> I keep forgetting. No, that's the fun. It's a giant laser. Can you not walk into it? Fuck off. I will. You don't have a everything. hazard suit, Gus. <laughs> oh god damn it, the headcrab's hitting me now. Nah, don't worry, we got around it. Is that a pipe that has a laser? Is that a laser pipe? I never noticed that before. Yeah, there are laser pipes. It's, it's like... How, <laughs> it's how fiber optics work. <laughs> Boof, okay. <laughs> There's laser pipes. Hey, that see? is the dumbest shit I've ever heard of. Hey, you want to see the coolest shit in the world? Kinda? Yeah, here we go. Hold you on. Can you can throw crowbars. How do you do that? Middle mouse. <laughs> you can, we can just put oh, crowbars shit. all over the place. <laughs> this is one of the only th like, you can throw the knife too, but that's not in this game. That's in another game. So there's literally crowbars all over the fucking place. 
So we get we get we get their famous weapon, the uh, well Gordon Freeman's and and Gus's favorite weapon, obviously. The, oh yeah, no shit. If I could get a wrench, I'd go all Bioshock on this bitch. Trust me. Well, now that's just unsafe. <laughs> yeah. Well, who, who's the maintenance man? Who's supposed to fix this shit? Uh... Gus. First he cast it, caused the resonance cascade, not this. Well, OSHA is is not exactly paying me very well, as you can well imagine. Look, it's a zombie. <laughs> you killed yeah, him with the Yeah, I got him! Run. By the way, if he dies, we get his pistol. Okay. But, but you can't actually kill them. There's actually a setting for that. Players cannot kill NPCs, but enemies can. That's how it works. I actually looked it up. Uh, there's a Dude, setting. Making America change. great again. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Well, no, it's just Black Mesa Security Force. Doesn't matter. They're gonna make America great again. Well, obviously, they already did. Can't you tell? Oh, well, yeah. No, I forgot. I forgot about that part. I like more zombies. Okay, I accidentally threw my crowbar and missed. Accidentally. Do you distract them, and I'll just hit him from behind a whole bunch. Yeah, that sounds good. I don't have the suit, so obviously I'm the uh, I'm the tasty candy. Well, there was four. You could have taken one. I'm gonna take some ammunition here. And some power. I think you need health actually. There's a health there's a health station here, you know. Oh sorry, I'm breaking shit. What'd you say? There's there's a there's a health station in the bathroom. Is Gordon Freeman's child or something. What 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 does Gordon what does Gordon Freeman read? Gus get out of the lake, Gus. God. The thirty seventh Mandela. What the hell is that? It's the fucking name of the book you're in front of. The Orchard Eater. That just sounds retarded. And this is coming from a guy who's giving other people essays, so, you know, whatever. Look, he's got kind of spray paint here, too, you see? He like he, he's, he is the Crips, man. Dude, Something. you're the fucking... Am I, was I the blood of the Crips? I can't I, remember. I actually don't remember now. And why, why were you yelling at me again? I don't know. So, I don't even know how to say this guy's name. Girthy. Guthy. <laughs> Girthy. I don't fuck. Oh, know. It, oh, Guthrie. That's Guthrie. Oh, Guthrie. But Mike likes him, Girthy. Right? Is, is that is that your last name, Gus Guthrie? <laughs> Dude, that'd be fucking awesome. That's your locker. You have the ammunition in there. I just found that all over the place. Gus Guthrie. Well, now red alert is on. I'm just gonna trim that off. No need to waste electricity here. Yeah, no shit. I used to be able to open this, but apparently in this co-op mod here, we can't actually open Dude, this door. Dude, what's back here? Uh, that would be the way forward. Go ahead, Pat. Uh, it is? Well, I kind of... Oh, shit! And that ends the legacy of Gus. What did I die to? All I saw was the head crab, and then I'm dead. Uh, you died to a falling uh, apparatus. Like, well, fucking OSHA's gonna hear about this. That's what, just what I'm saying. One of those vacuum tube computers basically fell on you. Oh, you he's heavy as fuck. Uh, yeah, I'm on my way back. I'm, uh, I appeared in uh, n in front of Guthy, uh, Girthy's office. I'm also going the wrong way, I think. I'm, you probably think. are. Yeah, I'm, I'm back at where America is made great again. Oh, wow, you went all the way back there. Now I'm, I'm not a smart man, and I can't B-hop, so... Yeah, they literally disabled it. Like, if I try and, uh, if I try and go side to side while I'm running forward, I can't do it. That's how they apparently disabled it, I guess. Weird. You can't I mean, like you can't like straight forward and to the side kind of at the same time. It's it, it is kind of odd. Pat, were these in the ducks beforehand? I thought you're supposed to clean the ducks, Gus. God. I don't I don't clean ducks. Hey. What is that glass sound like that? It's like bulletproof glass, I guess, or crowbar proof. That shit's nutty, dude. Hey, he's, wa Raven. he's watching something hilarious. He's watching Let's Plays. Obviously not yours. <laughs> you fucker. Ha! Oh no! My oh, crowbar is under the desk. <laughs> well, you can go under it. <laughs> I can't get it. Oh, well, sucks to be you then. I'm the Shit. one with the crowbar. Well. Uh, I got it. Well, there's a pistol now. You got something a little bit better, so it's all good. Dude, I, I've never been trained in how to use a pistol. <laughs> well, you'll learn quickly, I'm sure. Gus. Wait, why can't I go through this? Do I have to open it? 
I could go through this. Oh, yeah, I can. Mike, you can't even fucking go through glass. How shitty are you? I, I try my best. 